So the difference between the delta G zero and the delta G, I already write here. So this one is a standard condition, which you can use uh, tables to find out. Standard Jeep's free energy. Basically, it would the temp it would uh, condition at uh, twenty five Celsius, which is standard condition. And while this one is uh, based on the standard conditions, you can calculate the uh, real real chips real chips free energy based on the real situation. But uh, this is a constant number and this temperature and the heat transferred into the system. And uh, delta G0, which is the standard uh, free, chips free energy will be, uh, will be something you want to uh, determine whether the action is spontaneously or not. This is the, uh, this is the base number. Uh, so with this number, when you calculate out your real chips number, you want to compare it with the standard chips uh, free energy of of this reaction. Uh, so if it's above, I mean, the real chips is bigger than the free than the standard standard one. It's probably gonna not spontaneously happen. Uh, reverse is gonna spontaneously. So basically, this is the one is the standard, which you can always obtain from a, a table, which is a constant number because the temperature is constant. And then you can use it to calculate your real chips free energy.